recommend I Love Stocks. I'm going to do a review on a review of a video that I did yesterday with APHA and TLRY, Tilray. And I come up to a better conclusion today. It did pull back to my good support levels. And we're going to talk about them a little bit. But first I want to run this by you. And this is going to just kind of give the description of, of, of the uh, combined two, the merge of a $4 billion stock offer. So here we go. Acria and Tilray, two of the largest cannabis producers in the world, combining forces. The two companies announcing on Wednesday a Canadian dollar $4.8 billion deal. That's roughly $4 billion or just under $4 billion U.S. dollars. The idea here is to combine two of the biggest, not only pot producers and distributors, but two of the companies that actually have the biggest stronghold and the biggest global reach when it comes to cannabis-infused products, things like drinks, edibles, and even medicinal products. Now, Afria and Tilray have been at the forefront of the marijuana game even before it was actually legalized in Canada back in 2018. The two companies have been very, very strong and certainly at the front line when it comes to cannabis and cannabis-infused products. One of the things that they have been lacking is global scale. And so what the company said is that combining forces, they will have a lot more availability in terms of distribution across Europe, across the United States, and in other countries around the world. Now, very specifically, what uh, Afria and Tilray are hoping to do is to really expand their presence once legalization occurs on a federal level in the United States, once additional legalization efforts are ratified in Europe, and what they're trying to do is, again, not just necessarily distribute different types of cannabis and different jurisdictions having that cannabis available. What they're really trying to do is focus on products. So they have deals with Anheuser-Busch. They have deals with other types of drink makers in order to produce cannabis and THC-infused drinks that they feel will earn them a lot of money. They also have a lot of distribution and other deals in the works revolving medicinal marijuana. And so different types of medicinal products that obviously carry marijuana itself in them or some kind of THC component that people are looking to uh, utilize rather than more generic or at least more, more traditional pharmaceutical drugs. So overall, a very, very strong uh, p potential playing field for both companies, both stocks rising significantly, even in, in advance of officially announcing the merger, and certainly expectations that as a global powerhouse, they will have a lot more to uh, take advantage of and certainly a lot larger and more safety in numbers, if you will, by being a combined entity. For the street.com, I'm Corey Goldman. Well, there you go. That sounds very interesting to me. I also know that combined, this is going to be a very big boost for the company. Now, the ticker is going to be trading under Tilray. So I'm going to put most of my money, if I'm going to start watching Tilray over APHA, that's going to be. Uh-oh, here. We'll just take that off. <laughs> here comes the trumpets. But uh, it's going to be trading under Tilray, T-L-R-Y. So that's the main ticker that you want to be watching. And let's go straight into the chart, and we'll take a good look at it. I noticed that we started to form a pent flag on Friday after the huge breakout of the, of the rumor of the merge. And then we got the news. And then she kind of consolidated into a pennant flag. For ones that don't know what a pennant flag is, that's a bullish flag that will start to consolidate and will start to squeeze. And I see that squeeze coming out today. Now, I called a, uh, a support level or a pullback level in the video at 910. And I said it could pull back a little more if it decided to knife. And it did not decide to knife. It held that pennant flag, but it did pull back to that 910 support. And I think we can do the same thing again. I think we could probably have a sharp little drop and then right back into that, into that flag and then we'll start to squeeze out of that flag. So let's keep that support level at 910. We want that to hold. If not, we can drop down into this lower channel and the, your next support level is going to be that 976 that I mentioned in the last video with a very strong buy down here if it gets stupid between 803 and 830. But I think we'll try to stay in this flag today, and we'll bounce on up. So my interest is going to be in Tilray in the long run, and I'm going to be looking at a couple options. And one of them is going to be for scalping, and that's going to be on the January 15, the $9 strike. 
Uh, if it pulls back and I can get in at a cheaper price, I'll get in and scalp it at this, this one right here. I don't see it going any lower than a dollar at the most. And then we've got the other one that I'd go long, and that would be the option on March 19th on the monthly exchange. And we'll watch this one too at the $10 strike. And that's going to be between, right now it's between 172 and 187 But any kind of knife could pull this back a little bit for a better entry. And those are the two options that I'm going to be looking at when it comes to Tilray. And I want to wish everybody a, well, let's see here. I want to wish everybody a good trading day. And always remember, I love stocks. Let me pull that chart up one more time and have a good look at it. We do have, I want to pull up the yearly and just show you how much we can run up on this into the year. We can get up into these different categories, but I have a real hard resistance right here to break at 12.15. If we can break past that 12.15 area, we'll start to fly up into these new resistances. And that'll be around 13.53. And always remember, you know, they can pull back, but I think this one's going to start to really start to, to uh, consolidate and have another breakout soon. And that's going to be T-L-R-Y. I love stocks. We do have a little Twitter account. We'd appreciate it if you follow us on Twitter. Hit that like button. Follow us. We're posting alerts in here all the time. Last time we put in an apple right here, we got that 127 to break. I strongly believe that's a good support level on Apple. We are raising the uh, we're raising the bar on Apple for right now. But I love stocks.